Gabby, thanks so much for uh, joining me on this topic. It's such an uncomfortable topic, to say the least. I wanted to get your reaction when you learned of the lawsuit against Vince McMahon and the WWE and John Laurinaitis, and then you saw the details in it. Yeah, you know, it absolutely grabbed my attention. I think it grabbed a lot of people's attention nationwide. But it's important to understand that my relationship with Vince and Johnny was very limited. So I would see them at the TV tapings. I'd get to shake Vince's hand every now and then backstage. A couple of very short meetings with him about my character and where I was going. And that was really the extent of it. Did you ever witness any... Um, behaviors anywhere throughout um, your interactions in the WWE that were suspect and unusual and now in retrospect might make sense or even hear about certain things like locker room talk. There's always locker room talk, but it's important to remember when I was in the WWE, I was a guy. And so the locker room talk is guys talking about guy stuff. I did not have any real interactions with the females at that time. It was just acquaintances. And, you know, I didn't go out afterwards. I didn't go party. I didn't go to the bars. I was that person that was trying to focus mostly on athletics and trying to be in the best shape possible, focus on my nutrition and get rest afterwards. So everything ringside was very professional. We all handle ourselves in a professional manner ringside. And that's really what I saw. So you didn't get the feeling that, boy, there's some there's some bad culture uh, where I work. I'm going to keep my nose down and do my thing and just try to stay out of it. Well, in entertainment, we always understand that our performance is what keeps us in business. And so we're always making sure that what we are doing is the best possible uh, as far as bad culture. I think a lot of people were job scared when I was there because it's entertainment. And we're always making sure that we are on. And if we're not on, we don't do something that we know entertains the crowd. Well, we know that it's not going to reflect highly on us. But as far as something toxic going on in the back, like I think we're referring to with the lawsuit, again, everything when I was there, I was ringside most of the time training in the ring. And so that area where I spent most of the time, I, there's really not a lot that goes on there except rehearsals and training. So Gabby and I also discussed the possibility of her returning to the wrestling ring and wrestling against women. There's been a lot of debate over whether it's fair for transgender women to compete in women's divisions throughout sports, which is why it was all the more fascinating when she said this. Does that include you returning to the WWE and wrestling um, professionally again, and this time as a female wrestler? Now, wouldn't that be something? I will tell you, my intent is to absolutely make a return to the ring. And if it is uh, just happens to be with WWE, that would be the perfect full circle story. And if I do go back, I think the entire world is going to be watching and wondering if I step in the ring with the guy with a girl, what happens? And uh, I know there are some people that aren't happy about it, but it's so important to remember that wrestling, it's entertainment. And what we do is meant to be entertainment. We protect each other in the ring. Uh, sometimes we're in there with our best friends. And uh, I am very much looking forward to protecting who I'm with, but bringing the absolute volume to the max entertainment. So with that in mind, it, it, it begs the question, given all of the controversy about trans women in sports mm -hmm. competing against women, um, you must have contemplated that if you're thinking about getting into the ring with a female wrestler as a transitioned female. How do you weigh in on that, even if it's entertainment? Because it's a message as well, right, as well as a competition. <laughs> Yeah, it absolutely is. Uh, and, you know, I want to make it very clear. I support every transgender uh, competitor that wants to compete or athlete that wants to compete in the gender category that they so desire to. I do believe that we need some better standards across the board to make it fair uh, for both sides. However, when it comes to entertainment and wrestling is literally sports entertainment, we want to be clear that, like I said earlier, we are protecting the other person. Back in training in the development territory, FCW, back in 2008 and 9 when I was there, 
We worked with the girls. They worked with us to learn certain things and to make sure they were protected. And now, even when I'm in the ring training with girls and practicing, they're the ones that have asked to train with me, and they're happy to train with me, and they know that I'm going to protect them in the ring. And as far as sending a message, I think it's a wonderful message that the females are asking to work with me. They know that I'll keep them safe, and they know that what we're going to do in the ring will be explosive, and it'll be incredibly entertaining. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.